list after list. He'll be 102 in October. David Small never could find a vaccine appointment for his elderly father who lives with him. Nobody gets back to you. I mean, I've got my name in every place you could possibly think of. And nothing. Haven't heard a word. Frustrated with the state of Colorado, Small's brother in Arizona came to Colorado and drove their dad south to Phoenix. My brother called the day they arrived and said, we need to get a COVID test or a COVID vaccine for my father. He's 101. And they said, fine, bring him in. Simple as that. He'll be 90 on March 1st. Joan Harris says her mother, Marilyn, had an appointment, but that got canceled for being too close to her annual pneumonia vaccine. And so we were really sad when we lost that appointment and then have been trying ever since. It has been almost a year since we have been able to hug her. Even more frustrating for these families, there's new competition since Colorado opened vaccine eligibility to additional people. But without those, uh, those doses would likely sit on the shelves. And so it's very important that we rapid turnaround, rapid turnaround, every dose used within three days, that we have a sufficient demand. And while there are still some people 70 and up that are waiting and they will get it in February, uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we didn't create a bottleneck that kept the vaccine on shelves when there's plenty of willing folks 65 to 69 ready to receive it. The people of the 80 and up age group should be prioritized over everybody at this point. Harris, a teacher, will get her vaccine before her mother. This whole thing has been a nightmare. Instead of another two-day drive, Small's father, now half vaccinated, is planning a two-hour flight home this weekend. He's worried about that too. Makes me very nervous. David is 68 with his own health concerns, now searching for his first shot and his dad's second. We'll wait and see what happens. If nothing happens, we'll go back to Arizona. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News. The state told us it does not know how many Coloradans have left the state to get a vaccine. State did say that it knows of 5,900 people with out-of-state addresses who came here to get one. State says that represents a little more than half a percent of all the people vaccinated in Colorado.